Hi everyone, it is me, Tamika Isaac Devine, founder of the Possibilities Institute, success strategist and possibility activator, and very, very happy wife to Jamie and proud mommy uh, to Tamia Jade and my angel baby, James Henry. Um, it is, uh, well, we just celebrated Valentine's Day and I had an awesome opportunity to go to my church's annual marriage retreat. And one of the things that I was thinking about on my trip back home was uh, people tend to ask Jamie and I sometimes, you know, what are the tips that we would share with other folks um, about sustaining a happy marriage? Um, I have not been married the longest. I've been married uh, 12 years, and so I can't necessarily say I'm an expert on uh, love and marriage, but I do um, think that there are some things that we hold true to ourselves and we continue to think about as a married couple as we continue to uh, have our lives together. So I just decided I wanted to share a few tips with you, um, and so I'm sharing them now. And I just want to share three tips to uh, having a long lasting, happy marriage. And the first tip would be number one, uh, make sure that you are praying for your spouse. A lot of people talk about prayer and sometimes we have that real superficial prayer, you know, like uh, I pray for my husband, I pray for my children, I pray for my coworkers and you kind of just gl glance over it. Uh, but if any of you saw uh, the powerful, powerful movie War Room, then you know that um, there is a strategy to praying. There is um, a, a way that you pray to make sure that you are prepared for anything that comes your way. And of course, the people you're praying for uh, that make sure they're prepared for anything that comes their way. And so when you pray for your spouse, you should be very specific and strategic in your prayers, making sure that you're praying for their health and safety. Make sure you're praying for their strength. Make sure you're praying for their wisdom. Uh, you're praying um, to that they would um, make their goals um, and support their goals. So things like that are things that I just wanted to share um, about making sure that you are praying for your spouse. And as you pray for your spouse, be very strategic and thoughtful with those prayers. Um, and you will certainly um, see the benefits of that. Um, tip number two, make sure you're praying with your spouse. Uh, Jamie and I, we make sure that we take time out and we pray together. We have family goals and we, we pray about those. We pray about our children. We pray about our parents. We pray about our marriage that um, the Lord continues to bless us and, and strengthen us. Um, and I'll tell you that, you know, um, when we lost our son um, a year and a half ago, we were praying together all the time to get us through that struggle. And I will tell you that if we didn't pray together before, we probably would have been a little strange. That would have been a little strange for us when we started to pray together um, uh, during that, that time. So I encourage you to make sure that you're praying with your spouse. Take some time out as a couple and uh, pray together. Um, and then the third um, tip will be uh, pray for uh, strong families. And I will tell you that I talked to a lot of people and you all see it on the news and TV. You know, people were so happy um, when uh, uh, Barack Obama became our president and Michelle Obama became our first lady. And a lot of people talk about them. They're saying, oh, we're so excited to have such a awesome example of black love in the White House. And people are so um, enamored with uh, that feeling and that thought of black love. And I'll tell you, it is awesome. And I love my first family. Uh, but there are lots of great examples in the community of people, uh, strong, um, God fearing relationships, marriages uh, that are a testament to those of us ha who may not have been in the game quite as long. Um, at the marriage retreat, we had a couple who had been married 60 years. Today on the news, I saw um, the the longest um, married couple in the nation. They've been married 83 years. The husband is 104 and the wife is 100. Um, that is awesome. And so we can learn so much from uh, couples who have been married a long time and that have, have really stood the test of time. And it's great to have images of strong family, strong marriages, loving marriages. Um, one of the things that um, our speaker 
at the marriage retreat talked about was how today children only see, they only know what they see. And, um, and sometimes you have people who are growing up in homes that are broken or um, homes that have loveless marriages or homes that have abusive marriages. And so they're not seeing positive images of a strong marriage. And so um, we need to be praying for the family unit and praying for other marriages that are out there and, and making sure that we are seeing more and more examples um, so that, you know, when we see a Barack and Michelle, we don't feel like it's odd. You, we know that, that we've got that those examples of strong marriages um, through, around us, all around us in our community. And we need to look at those and lift those up and glorify those um, instead of all the images that people tend to um, glorify on, on um, social media and reality TV and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, those are just my tips. Um, I know that there are plenty more, uh, but those were just the things that um, were laid on my heart today that I wanted to share. So make sure that you are praying for your spouse, praying with your spouse, and then you are both praying uh, for strong families uh, throughout this country. Um, you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. And if you want to uh, get in touch with me or stay in touch, remember, you can always find me at www.possibilitiesinstitute.com. And you can follow me on Twitter and Periscope at T.I. Divine and on Facebook and LinkedIn and YouTube at Tamika Isaac Divine. Thanks. God bless and have a wonderful, loving, loving day.